Hey guys, it's Evelyn. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am an environmental science and policy major at Clarkson University and I just finished my freshman year. And today I actually started my first day of summer classes. I'm taking an organic chemistry class just to get ahead, so that's fun. Um, I'm gonna be making another video after this about just my summer plans and the class I'm taking and stuff like that, so stay tuned. But anyway, today's video, I just wanted to kind of do an overview of my freshman year and what it's like to be an environmental science major, just for all of you guys who are considering the major or who are going to be starting an environmental science degree in the fall or like thinking about changing majors, anything like that. I'm just gonna go in with my experience so far and like the classes I'm planning on taking in the future, curriculum, stuff like that. So without further ado, Let's just get started. I just talked really fast and now I'm out of breath. This is, this is not good. So first of all, Clarkson's major is an environmental science and policy major. So it has like the basis in environmental science, but we also have to take policy and law classes because kind of combining um, those two disciplines together. So it's sort of like an environmental studies degree, which is what other schools have. Um, and I really like that. I'm more interested in the policy part right now is when I'm thinking I really want to go into government or like nonprofit work. So that's where I'm at right now. Freshman year though was a lot of science and like getting ready for harder science classes. And I came in to Clarkson um, with AP credits and some college credits from high school. So I did not have to take calculus one or two because I got out of that because of my AP score but you would have had normally had to take that if you didn't have credit for it. And I also got credit for environmental science AP that I took. And my advisor said that that could get me out of an environmental science course, like a baseline one if I wanted to, or I could still take that course. So I think I'm still gonna take it. It depends on what happens in the fall, which I will get to that in a second. So this is just an example of what the average Clarkson freshman year would look like for an environmental science and policy major. So because I got out of calculus and some other classes because of all the credits that I had and because I am in the honors program, I had some different requirements that I had to take. So my schedule looked a little bit different than the average schedule, but if you were coming into Clarkson, this is about what your um, spring and fall, fall and spring <laughs> semesters would look like freshman year. So since I got out of calculus, a class that I took instead was microeconomics because I already had an AP macroeconomics credit and you need macro and microeconomics to be able to take an environmental economics class that's required for the major in the future. Um, but I still had to take bio one and chem one with labs and the bio lab was very environmental science based. So that was really cool. The intro to environmental science and policy class is just kind of an intro to the major talking about just topics that we're going to be covering over the next four years and different areas that you can get more specific in and just trying to get you really interested in your major. And then I had to take an ethics course for the honors program both semesters um, and also like a first year seminar but run through the honors program. And then I also had to take a MATLAB programming course that was just an honors requirement but that really has nothing to do with my major. And then for the spring, I am attempting to add a literature minor. So I took two literature classes because I had a lot of room in my schedule. And I was supposed to try to fit in biostatistics because that's the other math class that you have to take as an environmental science and policy major. But they did not fit because of my ethics class and my bio lab. So this is just what my schedule looked like in the spring. But at Clarkson anyway, the only like math classes that you need are the two calculus classes and then biostatistics. So I'm going to be taking biostats next spring, then I'm done with math that class is only offered in the spring. So that's kind of what freshman year looked like. So it's a lot of just like introduction to math and science. Um, and then next year I would be taking like organic chemistry in the fall, but I'm taking that now to cover it. So a lot of like the first two years of the math science major is just getting in all of your background science knowledge and math knowledge. And um, then the economics, the microeconomics was a prerequisite for environmental economics, which I'm going to be taking probably junior or senior year. And I had an AP um, macroeconomics credit, so I don't have to take that because you would, would need both normally. So yeah, so that's what's interesting about Clarkson's major with science and policy is that I have to be able to take the environmental science classes, the advanced biology classes. Um, there's options to take like zoology and stuff like that, but I also need to understand environmental economics, policy, and law, which is what really interests me, so I'm excited about that. So it kind of feels like, you know, starting out your freshman year that you're not really in classes specific to your major, but actually like biology one really went into a lot of environmental things like ecology, and it was a prerequisite for ecology, which is another class that I have to take in the future. The biology lab was highly focused in ecology, so we got to go outside and do more of like environmental science-y type labs, which is really cool. So even though we don't feel like you're taking like specific environmentally related classes, you are getting the really strong foundation that you need to move into like harder ecology classes. In terms of what's going to happen after freshman year, 
Um, I'm going to just give you a quick overview, but um, something that Clarkson has that's a really cool opportunity for all majors, but particularly environmental science and policy majors, is something called the Adirondack Semester, where we get to go live at Paul Smith's first semester and work on an integrated research project that's like out in the field, hiking all the time, stuff like that. And I got into that program for next fall, crossing my fingers that it still happens, and we're going to be working on um, mercury and legacy mercury in like vernal pools in the Adirondack woods, and that's just... So cool. I'm so excited for that. <laughs> so hopefully it does not get canceled. That's a really cool opportunity. And that course is, there's going to be um, like Adirondack ecology courses, um, environmental policy courses, a sense of place course, which is just kind of about like appreciating nature and understanding the Adirondacks, learning more about the Adirondacks. We also have to take a geographical information systems course, which is something that you do need for an environmental science major in most schools. So I'm glad that I'm going to be able to get that out of the way with the Adirondack semester and really be able to do it out in the field. And that's something that's really important if you're more interested in going into science. That's something you're going to need to know about when you go out into the field. That's something that employers really look for. So quickly getting back to what I said before about maybe having to take that environmental science class. So I did get out of environmental science with my AP exam. But if the Adirondack semester gets canceled next fall, I will have to be taking some classes from Clarkson probably online if that happens. So I would take that environmental science course just so I can continue keeping up with environmental science. But hopefully the Adirondack semester will happen and then I will be able to take Adirondack based environmental science classes there that will be able to give me that experience that I want. But on this document just goes through some of the classes that I've been planning out for the next three years now based on if I am taking the Adirondack semester classes to so just trying to fit in all the requirements that I need and also all the electives that I want to take. So there's basically a pretty set core of classes that you have to take for environmental science, but then you can pick if you want to take more policy classes, more different, um, more advanced science classes like botany, zoology, stuff like that. So I'm just planning out what I want to do, making sure that I get all my requirements, but leaving myself room to be flexible with what electives I take if I want to go more policy-based, science-based, and also fitting in those literature classes that I want to take and communications classes that I want to take. Yeah, so that's pretty much what like my plan for the next four years is going to look like, the courses I'm going to be taking. I try to throw in a whole bunch of other electives and see what's more interesting. Like I might try to throw in some more like political science courses, stuff like that. Um, and right now, I'm either going to, after college, try to immediately just get a job working for um, a nonprofit or a charity organization in some way, like maybe the Environmental Defense Fund or Greenpeace or... World Wildlife Foundation or something like that, or like for the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation or another state's similar program, or maybe like the EPA or something with the national government. I don't know. I'm very interested in governments and nonprofits, so that's where I'm thinking. And so I'd either try to get a job right out of college, or I'm thinking like Clarkson has a environmental politics and governance master's degree that I might try, or I might go to law school and get an environmental law degree. Those are like where I'm at right now. Still thinking about it and I'll definitely figure it out <laughs> eventually someday. But yeah, that's what I'm planning on. And there's so many cool things that you can do with an environmental science policy degree. A lot of times even if it's a science degree, like law schools for environmental law really like that if you want to do something like that. Or you can get like a PhD in something like really cool, like a really specific area of environmental science. Um, I'm really interested in plant and soil sciences too. I think that's really cool. Or you get a PhD in ecology or there's lots of other like master's degrees that you can get. But you can also get lots of like field work jobs just with your bachelor's degree um, and lots of jobs with like the DEC and stuff like that. So there's lots of options out there and I really encourage you to major in environmental science and policy or just environmental science or environmental studies or environmental policy, environmental law, like whatever, because it's super important right now. Like even environmental journalism, environmental communications are really cool um, branches of the environmental studies field that are really interesting. So if you're interested in the planet and the outdoors, look into all the different types of environmental majors there are because they are really important right now and they're super cool. Like who doesn't love the big outdoors, man? I was talking and hopefully this was helpful a little bit. Um, if you have any questions, definitely comment them down below and I will get back to you. And if there's a lot of questions, I can make another video answering them. Let me know if you have any video suggestions down below and I will see you in the next video.